Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to slice list so guys basically slicing of the list means we are finding the subset of the entire list we are going to include only a part of the list from the entire list and that is the process that we called list slicing so the format for list slicing is in such a way as you can see inside the open and close square brackets we have three parameters the first parameter is the start parameter from where we have to provide the index which is the index from where we want to start the elements to be included and then the second parameter is the stop parameter this is the index where the list slicing will stop and then the third parameter is the step which will help us in order to implement the gaps if we want to ignore some of the elements in between so guys all these three parameters are separated by a colon over here as you can see and this is the format of the list slicing so this is the description the start is the index of the list where slicing starts and then the stop is the index of the list where slicing ends and then we have step which allows you to select the nth item within the range start to stop so as you can see this is the example if we have the list which contains 1 2 3 4 5 as the elements inside the list and we only want to include the second and third index which means 3 and 4 so we can basically have the list slicing in this way that we need to provide the name of the list and then inside the open and close square brackets we have the start that is 2 over here so this means from index 2 that is 0 1 and then 2 so the element 3 will be included and then it will go up to index 4 so this is index 2 and then this is index 3 and this is index 4 so these three elements out of which the stop part that is the fourth index will not be included over here so only 3 and 4 will be included so guys it is important to note that whatever index we provide as the stop index over here that element will not be included and then in this this case we have just ignored the step so all the elements in between will be included so guys let us check this with the help of examples now over here so basically we are going to define a list so let's say we have list 1 it is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so guys these are the elements inside the list now guys what do we want is we want to print only 3 and 4 which means 0 1 2 that is the second and third index so what we have to do is inside the print statement we provide list 1 and then with open and close square brackets either you can access just one element so let's say if we want to access this element that is 3 we can provide two over here that is the index number in order to access this element that is 3 so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see 3 is getting printed over here but what if we want to print 3 and 4 in this case so over here we will have list slicing so after this second index we have colon and then we have to provide the stop index which is this element over here which is at the fourth index so over here we provide four guys remember that it will include only 3 and 4 the fourth index will not be included because the stop index is not included over here while implementing the list slicing so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting 3 and then 4 now guys let's say i want to access all the elements after 3 so what we can do is we don't have to provide the stop parameter so over here we provide 2 that is the index of this element that is 3 and then after colon we don't provide anything so all the elements after the second index will be included in this case it will be 3 4 5 so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting 3 4 5 now guys let me just change the content of the list we will provide the numbers over here from 1 to 10 so we have 7 8 9 and then we have 10 so top 10 numbers over here let me just save this file now and try running this code as you can see we are getting the numbers from 3 up to 10 over here and that is how we have done the list slicing now guys let's say we want all the numbers so what we can do is simply we can provide zero over here and then colon and then no stop and step parameter so let me just save this file now and try running this code so we are getting 1 up to 10 over here now guys we know that on the even indices over here we have the odd numbers so let's say if we want to print all the odd numbers over here which is at the step 2 so what we can do is we provide zero and then colon we don't have to provide the stop parameter since we want all the elements to be included and then we have to provide colon once again and this time we will be providing step parameter as 2 guys by default the step parameter is 1 so that all the elements are displayed but when we provide 2 so over here the first index is 0 which means first element over here that is 1 will be displayed 
and then since the step is 2 the second element will be ignored and 3 will be displayed and then again the fourth element will be ignored and 5 will be displayed and so on based on this step the elements will be displayed so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see all the odd numbers are getting displayed now in case we want to display the even numbers which starts from the index 1 over here so we just change this start parameter to 1 over here in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting all the even numbers now guys let's say we want to start in the first index that is we want to ignore the first number over here we are starting from the first index and we want to go up to the second last number over here and we want to ignore the last number so as the stop parameter what we can do is we can simply remove the step parameter over here and for the stop parameter we can provide the index of the last element so that it is not included so the index of the last element is negative one so list slicing also supports the negative indices over here which means before this zero the minus one will be referred to the last element over here then minus two will be referred to the second last element and so on on the negative indices will be representing the elements from the reverse of the list now guys what we can do is simply save this file now and try running this code so as you can see the numbers 2 3 4 up to 9 are getting displayed the first number and the last number is ignored over here now guys there is a very important feature of list slicing which can be used in order to reverse the entire list so what we can do is instead of providing the start and stop parameter we will ignore them we will only provide the step parameter over here that is the third parameter in this case which will be negative one so we provide two colons over here and then followed by negative one so let us see what happens over here so when we provide two colons and then followed by negative one over here we should get the reverse of this list over here that is 10 9 8 and then up to one in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting the list that is in the reverse order that is 10 9 8 7 and then up to one so guys this is one of the important features of list slicing if you want to reverse the list you can use the list slicing feature in such a way that you don't provide the start and stop parameter but you provide the step parameter as negative one in this case what happens when we provide negative two over here so let us check that when we save this file now and try running this code as you can see the numbers in between will be ignored so the first number is considered that is 10 and then 9 will be ignored and then 8 will be considered 7 will be ignored and then 6 will be considered and so on all the even numbers in the reverse order are getting printed over here we can also display the odd numbers in the same way that is in the reverse order by providing minus 2 as the start parameter over here so minus 2 which means it will start from 9 and then with the step parameter of minus 2 it will go to 7 and then 5 and then 3 and then 1 so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting the odd numbers in the reverse order so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to flatten a nested list so stay tuned